In today's video, let's take a look at the iPad and more specifically how to zoom in on a video on an iPad. Because here is the iMovie. Whenever you are editing using this software, then it may happen that you simply want to zoom in on that footage to create an effect or whatever you do. So the way it works is very simple. You open up the app and you can see here that right now I am here inside of this a video editor timeline is like a hockey player and stuff but right now if i want to zoom it in on his face all i need to do is select the clip by clicking on it and it's another feature which you can find somewhere at the bottom but instead it's right here so if i zoom in on the zoom in feature you can see here is the magnifying glass with the plus icon on it that means when you tap it you sort of unlock it so it allows you to pinch the zoom so right now you can use your fingers and grab the footage like this. You can actually move it around or pinch to zoom it in. So right now, if I lock it by clicking on the magnifying glass again and play the footage, we are already zoomed in on the hockey player. So that's like how we can get there. In order to like maintain it or just choose it for one portion of the clip, you can always just cut it. So click on the split icon in here so you can split the footage so the first part can be zoomed in for example but the remaining part you need to click on the pinch icon again and zoom it out as you're doing this you don't have the information about how much you're zoomed in so that's kind of annoying i would expect that you would get uh, at least the percentage of how much you're zoomed in you of course don't have any keyframes on on uh, animating the movements like zooming in and out you don't have any of those features in iMovie for that you're going to need to download CapCut or some other third-party video editor which allows it or perhaps just move on to Premiere Pro or Final Cut on your Mac or PC because there you have much more control on all those features and you can decide what you want to do but yeah this is just simply how this works besides that you can also move the move the clip around so even if you don't want to zoom it in you can just unlock the pinch to zoom and you can move the clip around once you're zoomed in i mean you cannot move it out of the frame and i don't believe that you can rotate it so you cannot but if you're zoomed in you can use this feature to move around to pan the clip and to make it appear the way that you want and there isn't much like i said iMovie is kind of limited and even if you go to the settings you have like some filters and stuff and theme soundtracks and fade in and stuff but you don't really have uh, like a zoom in keyframes or anything that would actually be useful by the way guys here if you want to check out how to add music to iMovie then definitely take a look at this video because here you're going to find out all the important information about that topic